Hey guys, so we recently traveled to the East Coast for my cousin's amazing wedding. The kids had a ball, it was totally worth it. They danced all night to the wee hours of the evening, but then of course we were faced with a dreaded six hour flight home. So we packed some really fun activities in this cool DIY travel box. Here's how it did on the flight. Okay, so you start with this old school metal lunch box. Ford picked this out. And before we left, I hot glued a Lego plate to the outside, had everything inside in little baggies, and then put them in the kids' own carry-ons because I did not need more baggage. And then the kids were super excited to open them. Oh my God, Fletcher. Yeah. Ford immediately jumped on the one edible activity, stringing Fruit Loops or Cheerios through lacing cord. Yeah, that's it, Fordy. He would do about seven or eight of them and then gobble them up and do it all over again. I think he might have done this the whole flight had I not been worried about sugar intake. And then I packed these mini notebooks. My kids love drawing on these and they take up virtually no room. Magnetic letters, that's why we chose the metal lunch boxes. And I think these were so neat but probably would have lasted a little longer had I been working with them one on one. Someone had to run the camera. A washi tape. This is Ford's second favorite activity and it is awesome. It's about as sticky as painter's tape so you're not gonna get in trouble with the airplane police. Yes, there are airplane police. And I don't know, kids just love tape. They love, I don't know why. And then of course we had the Legos which we used to build houses on top of the lunch boxes. I like that. And figurines. You cannot go wrong with a few new figures for our trip. Nice, bud. So that's everything we packed. And then the cool part was watching them mix everything up. So for example, Presley used the notebook as a roof for her Lego building. Ford wrapped the blue bad guy up in washi tape. I think he was fighting the trolls. Not sure what's going on there. And we just had a great time with this. Until admittedly, they went back to watching their iPads. What did we do before iPads? But hey, it was a good break, lasted at least an hour and a half, and in case you guys are wondering, Tess actually slept the whole time on Ross's shoulder. We got lucky. So you guys, let me know what kind of activities you like traveling with. I love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. I'll end with more Ford dancing. <laughs> so funny.